So in this video, we will make sure that we update, uh, we'll receive the data that is coming in and then we update it to the database, all right? So what we are going to do here is simply to save data and then we will redirect. Just two things. So um, if all else fails, we are going to redirect, return, <laughs> redirect. So what we're going to call it is simple, uh, simply return back and then with all the inputs so we're just going to say with input input so that is if everything we're going to try fails we should just return to the page that brought us here and with all the data that they gave us we should just return it back to the page so the next thing we're going to do is to actually receive the data up here let me call this uh, company update that is what I want to call this data and then I'm going to say a company find the company where the ID is the same thing as the ID that we received ID that is this ID the ID that is in this company um, once we find it the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna try and update all right and our updates will take some payload and this is where we specify I would like to put this here okay this is where we'll specify the rest of the data that should be updated and the first one is the name and the second one is the description because we're expecting these two fields we have name and then oops we have name and then we are going to just take the request because this is re receiving a put request, you understand? So inside the request, we'll have every other thing that is in the form. So one thing that we can find in the form is the name. There is a field called name in the form because if we go back here, show the, um, in edit.blade, if we look at the form, we'll see that the name, there's a description, and in the name all oh, here, the name here should have a name. You understand so if you need this code directly you can go to my github account and um, get it it should be at the link or at the bottom of this video i'll walk you through my github account uh, by the end all right so at the end you're going to put a comma and then we're going to do the same thing but this time for description so we're just going to say description i'm, I'm going to copy this description and put it here so um i'm going to move this to the left to the right just to make it look cool all right so we're going to find what this basically does is find the company with this id then update it with these two fields and then what we're going to do is we have to check whether this update was successful if it was successful then we redirect successfully to view to the view page or the show page if not we will just um run this so i'm just going to check if this guy successfully updated so if it's successfully updated then um, return redirect route and then the route we're looking at is companies oops we're looking at companies routes so far and uh, companies that show that is the route then we add the other details because we need to pass in the id to and um, don't worry if this com confuses you i'll explain it once i finish typing it um, the id of the company of the company we received so we're basically um redirecting to a route called company.show with the id of the company we just received I think I should just put this here. So um, where where are we getting an underline? Because uh, right here we need this. This is a function. So cool. So we are basically redirecting to this if this update was successful. But then we need to pass a message to like a flash message to say yes, your update was successful. So this is how you would do it. Wait then uh, we should just call it success uh, success message and then success message is uh, 
company uh, updated successfully. All right, so what are we missing? Going here. I'm going to put this underneath so that we can see directly. So what we basically have here is uh, So this basically solves our problem. All right. So what we're basically doing just one more time is that we save the data, we will find it, then we save it, then we redirect then uh, to the show to the view page with this message flash message. And then um, if it was not successful, then of course, we redirect to the page that we just edited. All right. So the problem, the one, one more thing we have to do is to actually go to our page and find out a way to display this message all right so we have to display it at the top of every page we have to put the code at the top of every page so that anytime we uh, redirect with a message it should just display itself all right so see in the next video where we'll create the files that we use to display all our um, flash messages